Hello, YouTubers and all those wrapping to watch. Hope you guys are all doing quite well. So, hope you do not mind the EC in the background. It's a little bit loud, probably, because this camera can't pick up a lot of uh, very intensive or very quiet sounds. So, do apologize ahead of time. It's a new one that I got. It's a Hoyt. I believe the model is. It's one of those portable ones you can able to move it around the room and, you know, it's not every part of the room, but just, you know, sort of adjust it and angle it. Anyway. Got a package in the mail, which is actually something quite special. Uh, a friend of mine, Adam, uh, he also got this in the past. So uh, if you are, do know Transparency Pro on here on YouTube, or it's short for Transparency Productions, uh, definitely check that out. And uh, he does have a video covering this as well. So I'm not really going to talk too much about it. I'm just going to show a couple things and say what I think of it. That's it. So, all right. Got this in. This was time sensitive material, even though this took forever. I got this from Barnes and Noble because I had a uh, ten dollar gift card from that. So it came in really good condition, super good condition. So much so it's sealed still, and that of course is the Mega Man Robot Master Field Guide, which is uh, as would be about the size of a field guide, henceforth. So. It includes all ten of the Mega Man games. This is what I was told through the said... Um, sorry, my brain's a little bit fried, because whenever, whenever an AC goes on, my brain kind of goes... So... It apparently does have ten of the Mega Man game characters in this novel, or this book. So we're going to uh, snip this here with a toenail clipper. I found this to be the safest methods of... Uh, snipping without actually damaging said remnants. These are also pretty good when you're uh, messing around with models, models, excuse me, as well as you can fine tooth the uh, models with the uh, you know, very, very soft... Ah, what the hell am I explaining this for? You guys know. <laughs> trying to open this at the moment because I don't want to damage the book. The main reason why I got this and it's sort of I am a fan of the first Mega Man games, 1 through 6, initially, so I don't mind the Mega Man X series so much, it's just the fact that I only really liked uh, Mega Man X1 and the rest of them I didn't really have too much love for. I mean, I own Mega Man X7, but that one wasn't very good. I noticed the quality of the X series sort of diminished slightly. I mean, it's easy to collect for, they're not that expensive to grab, because most of them are pretty mediocre, so no one really wants them as much. So, yeah, I mean, that's why I initially own all six of the original Mega Man games. I got them through the NES, because the NES version that played pretty well. I mean, there's Mega Man 9 and 10, which are digital only, which uh, I believe there's like a limited edition somewhere that someone uh, has like a cart of it. It was like a promotional thing, I think, for press and certain holders alike. Pretty wild stuff though. So we're going to take this off. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this plastic or just grab a Ziploc. You're asking me why am I so cautious about this book? Well, it wasn't the fact that it was an expensive book at all. It's really not that expensive really. It's like five to eight dollars. So it's just the fact I like to keep this in uh, good shape. Printed in Hong Kong at that tells the story right there. So it's full color. It's really nice so far. The, the cover feels awesome. There's like a weird texture to it, but uh, really well drawn. I like the artwork. It's the really modernized Mega Man uh, illustration. So the first thing you're greeted here with is uh, some of the robot bosses, or in this case the masters. And uh, what else? First page it shows you a robot origin. There's King, there's Dr. Light, Dr. Wily, uh, Star Droids, Dr. X, uh, Wily, Doctors, Wily, Light and Wily's pretty much talking about them, Dr. Kozak, and the Unknown. So they pretty much go through a legend here to let you know who built what and what, who built who. 
little bit of an introduction to this, and it's, you know, the font's pretty nice. I'm liking the font. It's nice and big, and so that way if you have, like, viewing issues, especially with uh, blue and black here. So it's really nice they were able to, I'm not sure how well you could see the light there. Pardon the pun. But, oh, damn. Oh, shit, I love, I'm so far loving Air Man. So they actually, yeah, they have these modern approach towards all the um, characters here. And I'm really digging the uh, Airman's design. They show the retro NES version. Then they also have... I'll show you here. Let me if I yawn a couple of times. <sighs> Let me tell you something, mister. Anyway, see who gets that reference. So, uh, basically they, sh they show a little biography of what they can do, uh, what Mega Man gets out of them. So... You have Astro Man, which I actually like the Astro Man. I kind of he's I believe he's from Six, I think. Mega Man Six, I think. Brain fart, brain fart, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. I think these actually might be from more of. Hmm. I don't recognize these. Probably from Mega Man Seven, I think. I don't. I don't remember. It's my brain's fried. There's bass, or sorry, bass bass. I like bass and, uh, what is it, Mega Man, Mega Man and bass, I have that on the Game Boy Advance, and that's a really goddamn good game, uh, I believe it's based off the Super Nintendo, uh, port, and, uh, really well made game, I liked it, because, like, bass was easy mode, you just could shoot in all directions, he's a really awesome character, uh, Ballerade, which, I'm um, showing a couple of these here, they have bass. Blade Man, which really is kind of an ugly, he was kind of an ugly uh, boss. Let me see here. Yeah, Blade Man was not really that cool of a boss. He was kind of ugly. <laughs> so I mean, it has that. I mean, that's all you're really gonna see in this book. I mean, there's Bob, like Bomb Man, uh, Blizzard Man, which I'll show you. Bomb Man is really, I really like him too. See the first uh, bosses here. Like one through four, I like the design of them so far. Like I'm looking through this, and so far really high quality. And they put a lot of effort into this book, especially for you know obvious fan service. So would I recommend this book if you are a Mega Man fan? I mean, if you don't own it by now, I mean, I don't see the reason why not. It's actually quite kind of the must-have for the Mega Man enthusiast. Has nice little biographies for each character. Has Commando Man, Cold Man. I'm trying to show you here about creasing the book too much. Good reference guy too, because I generally wanted to get this book because of the fact that just something nice to look at once or twice in, the, in my lifetime and be able to say, oh yeah, you know this guy, and learn a little bit of history about each boss. Try not to burp. Dive, man. <laughs> there we go. That burp came out finally. Thank you. Dark Man 4. Doc Robots. Drill Man. I actually like Drill Man. He's a pretty cool boss from, uh, I think it's 3 or 2. No, no, it's, uh, 2, I believe. Oh, three. Three. Three, I think. Maybe three? I don't know. Touch my nipples. Dio. The Duo. Dust Man. Domino Man. Eddie. Eddie to the rescue! <laughs> Electric Man. Fake Man. What the fuck? Kind of like his buster, though. There's, uh, his gun. It kind of has that whole revolver look to it. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and show you all the book all day, but... Pretty good book. It has kind of like a graphic novel feel to it on the side, on the spine here. It's made by Udon. Or Udon. But, uh, yeah. It's really cool. Really digging it. I'm going to sit here and actually look at this, so, uh... Take it easy. Thank you guys so much for watching, and being patient with me with this video.